Well, our community lost one of its pillars this week. Henry Tweeden died at the age of 97 years young. In the same way that a pillar in a building carries the load of the structure to a foundation built on solid ground, a community pillar lifts the community while anchoring it to a strong foundation. I am convinced that the work that Henry did in, in his life here on earth and all the good that he did will live on long after him. Much of it is of eternal significance. There's an old quote that says, we stand on the shoulders of giants. I really believe this is true in the case of Henry Tweeten. Henry and others in his generation sacrificed greatly so we can all have things a bit easier and see a bit higher. Now we have the privilege of continuing their work, building on that same strong foundation. Henry and I went out to lunch every month or two. I always enjoyed hearing the stories of his military service. The most memorable was when his platoon got pinned down under heavy enemy fire in open country. That is when he got shot through the kneecap. He would show you if he asked. <laughs> when Henry was able to get off the battlefield, he spent hours in the basement of a building that was also occupied by enemy soldiers. If they had located him, it wouldn't have been good. But over the next several months, he fought for his life in hospitals as uh, infection ran through his body. Can you imagine how different this place would have been without Henry if he hadn't survived? Henry was a big proponent of education, literacy, and lifelong learning. Henry was one of the most optimistic people I know. He always had a plan to grow East Grand Forks and make it better. I really thought he'd reach that goal of living until we eclipsed 10,000 population. I guess that's left for us to do. On several occasions, while giving me lessons in life, Henry would pause and summarize by saying, the key to the whole thing is love God and love people. I guess we can't do better than that. Henry fought some tough battles and accumulated enough wisdom that I would listen closely when he would share his ideas, and he was more than willing to share his ideas. I will miss him a great deal. The whole community will miss him. I hope we can all up our game just a bit to make up for the positive force we no longer have, this great man in our midst. A few years ago, Henry gave me a small devotional book, and he wrote on the inside cover of it. It tells also a lot about him. On this 21st day of September 2017, I have gifted this book to my good friend, Dr. Steve Gander, so that he will be inspired personally, so as to inspire others in our community, Henry G. Tweeten. I don't think I've inspired anyone yet, but I'll keep trying. <laughs> May God bless the memory of Henry Tweeten. Thanks.